here's another graphing problem, this time in three dimensions. All right, we've got a vector valued function with, you know, it's three components. Again, one variable, right? Um, always one input variable for this chapter, but we can have two or three components. Um, so we've got to draw this one in space, which is a little bit trickier. Um, you can always refer to the nice computer-generated plot in the textbook um, if I make too much of a mess of this one, but how is this going to go? All right, well, we can, you know, you could do like a table of values if you want. You can try plotting a few points just to kind of get an idea, right? If t is equal to zero, x is one, y and z are both zero. So if we kind of go out one, uh, one unit, right? Um, and I guess we kind of have to shrink the z scale a bit to get it to fit. But we're going to start here, right? Um, now, what happens as t goes from, say, 0 to pi over 2? Well, I mean, on the one hand, if we didn't have the z component, we know we'd just be tracing out that circle, right, in the, in the xy plane. But z is also increasing, right? z is equal to t. So um, when we get to there, t is pi over 2, z is up, you know, and let's say 2 is there, and pi over 2 is, you know, here-ish, so maybe not quite that high, right? So we're actually kind of up, right? Um, this would be the point 0, 1, pi over 2. And if we wanted, we could draw the, the vector corresponding to that point, right? We start with this, this vector here. And so what's going to happen as t goes from, say, 0 to pi over 2 is that vector is going to swing around and up until it gets there. And so we're going to get something that kind of goes like that, goes up, right? Um, so now what's going to happen as we go from, say, 0 to 2 pi? Well, we're going to wrap once around the circle, right? When we get to, you know, 2 pi is, say, up here somewhere. There, All right? And we're going to be back out along the x-axis, right? So we're going to be there again. So we're going to be at 1, 0, and 2 pi. So we've got once around the circle, but we've also gone up, right? So what we get is this sort of spiral shape. We're going to come around kind of in behind. And let's see if I can draw this. Something like that, right? And then we're going to go around one more time, going from 2 pi to 4 pi, and we end up something like that, right? So we kind of have this corkscrew that goes twice around. Um, that's the graph of our vector-valued function in this case.